uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will basically show you a new tool that I added on my website on freemediatools.com you can check out the live demo basically this converts the Microsoft Word documents into PDF document it's an online converter website that I built in Node.js and Express so this is the interface guys you will upload your Microsoft Word document let me select this document here it is a DOC file so it's a basic word document file guys it contains this text here and now if I want to convert this into PDF document I will simply select this file and click on this button download PDF file so file upload it using this progress bar and now your PDF file will be downloaded as an attachment you can see that guys all the pages of the Microsoft Word document has been exported successfully to PDF document so this is the tool website that we will be building guys so many a times you need to export your Microsoft Word document which is doc file to PDF we will build out this converter you can see that how easily it is uploaded using this progress bar animation and after that it will do the conversion process and it will download the file as an attachment you can see that So for building this application guys we are using a open source library which is LibreOffice. LibreOffice guys it's a operating uh, sorry it's a free open source office productivity software suite and basically it's a free version of Microsoft. If you have seen Microsoft Office, Microsoft Office is a paid, it is not free, it's a commercial software but uh, LibreOffice basically it's a free version you can install this software on your machine I am currently on Windows it is available in cross-platform operating system you can also download for uh, Ubuntu Linux as well this is its official website so I've already downloaded it the latest version guys the editor is available on my computer so if I search here this is the actual editor LibreOffice you can open any PDF document, Word document inside this editor. It's a fully fleshed editor. So something like Microsoft Office. So now with the help of this library guys, we will basically carry out the conversion process. There is a basically a package in Node.js which allows you to interact with this which is LibreOffice Convert. This is a package we will use guys in this tutorial. You can see it's a very so this is a library we will use guys LibreOffice Convert in Node.js to carry out the conversion process we will also use Express as well so if you want the full source code of this tool website that I deployed on my website guys with progress bar animation you can get the full source code the link is given all the links are given you can purchase it using uh, Stripe and PayPal in Indian rupees or United States dollars so check out the full description and now let me show you after you purchase it you will get this directory structure guys you will get the server side code and the HTML code this will contain all the progress bar code as well alongside with Ajax as well let me summarize you first of all the basic code guys so as I already told you install the dependencies express malter and LibreOffice dash convert so these are the three dependencies which are needed for this project so simply install that and now we will start our index.js server so the very first thing we will do guys we will basically load our index.html file we will require our express server we will make a express app we will listen on port number 5000 and also guys we will make this directory which is this public directory as static to make that we will use this line so whatever present inside public folder it is static now just create a uploads directory where we will all store the input uh, word documents which are submitted so uploads directory and now guys if I start my server if I go to localhost 5000 you will basically see the same interface that I developed guys we have the progress bar we have an input file we have a button right here let me summarize you the index.html file what is we are doing so at the top we are basically including the bootstrap CDN then we have the container class we have the heading right here we have this input field right here where we take the allow the user to upload the file then we given bootstrap class of progress bar guys then we have a download button 
and here we are including jquery cdn guys and we have this on submit form event handler right here we have this form validation we are only allowing the user to upload only this uh, two files which is doc and docx and here guys we are first of all uploading the files so right here we need to make a post request and we need to make this post request in the express server which is upload doc to pdf so right here guys first of all we will introduce or require the malter library and after that we also need to include the path module as well so include the path module and file system module as well so both these modules are built in and also we need to use two middlewares which is body parser middleware url encoded extended to false and express to json so these two lines are necessary guys while we'll be working with forms so you need to write these lines so right here we will basically make a storage object telling malter where to store all the uploaded files we will make this storage object we are telling exactly in which directory our files would be stored it will be stored inside public slash upload so we are providing the path and based upon that we will now be having we will use the malter constructor we will pass the storage option to be storage and we will only upload single file at a time so that's why we are providing single and now we will basically make that post request guys which is docs to pdf and right here guys we will upload the file and we will basically return the path to the client site so the path will be request.file.path so you can even cross check as well if you now upload the file if i choose my file here click on that so now you can see the button text has been changed if you check the console you will see upload successful we have got the path of the file and if you also check inside directory in the uploads directory our file is uploaded so now what we want to do guys in the second post request we are making a second post request which is docs to pdf this time we are passing the path as well alongside there, there is this object right here we are passing so right here we need to make this post request and docs to pdf and here guys we will basically use the libri office convert library that we install so libri office we will basically require it libri office convert and this library guys basically will take the path of the file just make the output path date dot now uh, output dot pdf this will be the output file which will be created automatically so this method takes uh, convert method guys it contains a convert method we will basically path pass the uh, request dot body dot path this is the input file which is a doc file and here we will provide the extension guys so we need to change this file to pdf extension so that's why we are providing dash pdf and here the third argument would be undefined and the fourth one will be the callback function so here we will first of all write the file output file path in the output path done after writing it we will basically just say output file path output path that's all so this completes the application after it converts it will write the file in the root directory it will pass the path and lastly guys we also need to basically write this download request so once we get the file we need to download the file as an attachment so here we are using response dot download method of express library in order to download the file as an attachment so if you now refresh your application what will happen now if i select my doc file click on that so now after processing it guys it will download the file as an attachment the processing will take some time and after that it will download the file you can see that so now our file has been successfully uh, i think some kind of error is there i think yeah yeah sorry sorry guys we need to read the file first of all read the content of the file we can't be passing the file path we need to read the path so read 
the file first of all for the reading it we will use this method read file synchronize we will pass the path of the doc file and then we will pass the content of the file like this that's all so this is the correct code guys so just make the slight modification we will now call the same application here pass our file so now it will convert this after processing it it will download the file as an attachment and the progress bar will reset to zero now you can see that guys it contains all the charts images and text you can see that nothing is missed and you can see the formatting is preserved as well images have also been exported successfully it's a very beautiful open source library guys which allows you to carry out these two little websites libreoffice it's a massive library so i have just shown you a very basic tool that you can make using it docs to pdf converter all the source code guys is given in the description of the video you can check out the full source code buying it before buying it you can check out my live tool which is deployed the link is given you can search here uh, docs to pdf so before purchasing it you can check out the live demo if check, just check if it is working or not after that you can purchase the full source code and thank you very much guys please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next one